Welcome back. Just a very brief uh, little video this one. I thought I'd um, hook up the ESP32 to the big motor, or one of the big motors I've got. Uh, this one, of course, is not designed as motor as a servo motor, but uh, you can actually get by with most of the DC motors. You can put a loop around them. Uh, this one's the E3150, and uh, I've got it connected to um, a load here, which is um, it's actually steel. It's quite a hefty load. And I've got this thing here so you can see the position of the shaft. Uh, and I've got a quad detector there. And I've got another quad detector over here somewhere. Here it is. Which is um, I'm going to do in a minute. Just a quick look at the motor. Uh, the motor is the um, amp flow one. one E3150. It's a hefty motor. But when it's running on 24 volts I think it's, it says it gives out 300 watts at um, 309 watts at 17 amps. It's quite a quite a big motor actually, um, and it's it's quite got quite a serious amount of torque. So I've altered the program a tiny bit from the previous video where we had the small motor. Um, I've got a PID controller, the settings here, uh, and I've got. Um, a filter on the derivative action which I haven't shown you the theory yet how I do that I've set the uh, sampling frequency up to be 10 kilohertz I think I did that in the last uh, video as well yes so it's 100 microseconds and just to be sure if you go to the scope and remember how we did it the last time uh, you can check that's 4.7 it's nearly 5 multiply by 2 which you have to do because we're measuring this um, period here um, this one will just so the, what you're getting out it's like a clock isn't it so it's that period and that's uh, about 9.4 or 5 or something like that um, so it's not exactly 10 kilohertz but it's uh, pretty close I've stuck on this power supply there's no particular reason it's just the other one had a bit of problems with it and uh, it works just as well because uh, there's no gearbox on this uh, motor it should really put one on with the servo you get more torque but like, it's really um, nice servo like we had before with the my wheel of course it's a lot lot cheaper with the esp32 and, um, and that's about it really there's not a lot to, to say um, it follows uh, beautifully my set point as you can see, if I can zoom in a bit more, well, that's the maximum. So that's it, uh, sort of a zero, and then we're moving it back and forward. And I can go past 360 degrees as per usual. I can even put a sort of positive feedback by attaching the two together. And it should sort of go, go around and it goes. It's quite an interesting effect, isn't it? So, uh, so that's it. So that's a DC servo, home built if you like, with uh, ESP32 using the Arduino code. Thank you very much.